And we did our first blast from surface. We watched it on camera. We ran jumbo drills. We ran long hole drills, shock creating machines, LHDs, diamond drills, every piece of equipment. And we had a surface control room built at the mine. Everything worked. And then we did a, a benchmarking comparison between how you mine, how they were mining in the day, and what it would mean to the financial change for mining this way in the future. And the numbers were amazing, like almost unbelievable, because it was like the difference between manufacturing a car with thousands of people and old technologies to now mining them with an assembly line where nobody got in until they were being test driven. Mm -hmm. That's how big a monumental shift. And, and then I think the critical thing happened that stalled everything. Walter Kerlick retired, Mike Sopko retired, Claudio Prasadi retired, Jim Ashcroft retired, John Kelly retired, and we were left in the hands of what I would call MBA managers. No vision for the future. Would run the company into the ground if they were allowed to, and almost did. Well, actually, they did, um, to the point where it got sold. Mm -hmm. Valet. Valet. <clears throat> and, and I remember, I remember that I thought it was so sad that we had all the technology to be able to solve the problem if the capital that was in the business got redeployed. But there were too many cultural obstacles. And interestingly enough, none of them were the union. They were all senior middle managers. They were all guys that just, they tried, these, these visionary managers that were running it tried to change these middle senior level managers to get the vision, and they couldn't. They were too stuck on Tom Peters' new book about managing better, or to all those things. And they just then systematically dismantled everything that we had done. Um, I think it was one of the greatest crimes in the history of Canada, because it was akin to the knocking out of the Avro Arrow. Because we had the technology to have INCO become bigger than Rio Tinto or BHP Billiton or, or any of those operations. Because we had the technology that could fundamentally change the dynamics of what you could call an ore body.